guys, it's National Exchange Cookie Exchange Day, and Zach and I are facing off decorating these lovely gingerbread houses. I just want to know, who do y'all think is going to win? Zach, do you think, you know? You I don't know. I've never done this before. I did it once in college, and I mean, it was really fun. It was really fun, but it's kind of hard. So, I mean, the gingerbread can be traced back to ancient Egyptians, and that's right. They're originally used for spiced bread for ceremonies. And Zach, we can start yeah, I'm decorating already, this. I'm um, already on the way. So you say you've never done it before. Have no, you just I never haven't. heard of it or what? No, I mean, I've definitely heard of it. I've just never done it before. By the oh, way, goodness. shout out to our morning producer, Emma. She, she did a great job together. of at the very least putting these, putting the base of these houses together. So Let's all we see. have to do is just do the rest of the and stuff. And the thing is, you want to make it as cute as you can. You got to let your creative juices flow. I think I'm focusing too much, focusing too much on the gingerbread man because mm. I feel like you got to have at least... One you of the do. gingerbread men looking really good. Well, you know, I'm a candy girl, so I like to load up my house with the candy The frosting first. is really good, by the way. Um, I'm, I'm a meteorologist, so I am going oh, to try to put some of this icing on the roof. Mm. Which it's not like staying flow. pretty well. But uh, obviously I'm a meteorologist, and we have some little snow little sprinkles okay. in one of these bags. So uh, while we will not have a white Christmas here <laughs> in Dothan, or really anywhere in the state of Alabama, we can at least make these gingerbread houses uh, have a bit of yeah. a white Christmas. So, And that's okay. See, we're moving along. Now, gingerbread <laughs> decorating does take a little minute, but it's okay because we're going to continue to decorate these throughout it's sticking the, to the roof. So, yeah, we have, like, these, these little snowflakes. Yeah, we've got the peppermints, y'all. We have the gumdrops. We have everything. Let's see. None of them stuck. Oh, Just Lord. at all. It's okay, y'all. That's just it's, what happens with gingerbread houses. There's okay. a few flurries. And you said, is this your first one? Yeah, this is my first Aww. one. I'd put some okay. buttons on that gingerbread, this is man. This my first one, so um, I'm going to go easy on you. Now, spice trays, they opened up, gingerbread became available, and we'll tell you how people started building houses in our next hour, guys. So we have we have an hour, <laughs> next hour or two to go. Oh, we, we got another hour to do this, so, uh-oh. My little gingerbread man fell over. He's And, guys, down. we'll be voting We'll, voting will be available for anybody to tell us just how we did for these gingerbread houses. And be sure to check back on WTBY.com and look at our Facebook. Now, Zach is struggling just a little bit. I am. I'm struggling okay. a lot. I'm definitely a rookie at this, and it yeah. is most it's definitely okay. showing. I mean, we still have a couple hours to go, so we'll be still... able to, you'll be able to get the hang of it. But y'all yeah. my peppermints are hanging on for dear life. Hopefully I'm still trying to get at least none of those stuck, too. Okay. I've made a mess. It's okay. There's, there's snowflakes Guys, everywhere. I think you're getting into the Christmas spirit, you know? Oh, we definitely are. So, uh, 